Hello and welcome. Today we have several interesting stories including one about an entitled husband who insisted his baby is named after his dead girlfriend. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The first story. My, 17 female, brother, 15 male, and I's parents have a rule for jobs. We get to keep one third each when we go to college, and the rest goes into an account for us to get when we turn 21. I think that's a pretty fair rule, and it's what I'm doing since I started working. My brother has always complained about our parents taking his money, but since we live under their roof I think they have every right to do it. We thought my brother was making $15 an hour, and they were splitting the money like that. Well, he told me the other day that he got a raise to $18 and hasn't told our parents. He just pockets the extra money. I really think that's disrespectful towards them to break a rule like that. So I told him he has until tonight to tell them or I will, and he called me a B. I. T. C. H. Will I be the idiot if I told our parents my brother is lying about his paychecks? The top replies. You are the idiot stay out of it. He is lying to your parents but he is the one who will have less money in college and at 21. The downside here is you will mess your relationship up with your brother over something that doesn't materially affect you. The second reply. You are the idiot. Your parents aren't entitled to money he works to earn. They shouldn't be forcing him or you to do anything with it even under the guise of teaching you something. All they are teaching you is that they're controlling and don't trust you to learn how to budget your own money, something more likely to cause you to be frivolous with your money once you finally are in control of it. Let's be honest. You've been forced to do this unfair thing since you started working. Your brother has found a way to actually keep more of what's his and you resent that. Because after all, you had to suffer this controlling stupidity for your whole life and lived, so he should too. Do you have any proof that that's actually what they're even doing with the money? Third reply. There's absolutely no point in telling your parents that. I don't even know why you'd want to involve yourself. What do you want to achieve? That your parents punish him? For three extra dollars. He's 15 and already working. He's already more responsible than most 15-year-olds. That needs to get through your head. If he thinks he needs those plus three dollars per hour, let him have them. He needs to learn how to deal with money, give him his space. What's your motive? Cause honestly, the only reason you said is that it's disrespectful. It's not. It's his money that he works for and at 15 he already puts aside money for A. College and B. For when he's a bit older. Get out of his business and be a good sister. The second story. Am I the idiot for suggesting a previous girlfriend's name as a baby name? I, 34 male, and my wife, 31 female, are expecting a child in 12 weeks time. We don't know the sex of the baby but we've started thinking about baby names. A couple of nights ago we were suggesting names. I had a girlfriend for around 6 years before meeting my now wife. Unfortunately, she passed away and I was absolutely devastated. It's still painful to think about and I always imagined naming a child in her memory. I also just love the name itself, Nancy. When I made the suggestion to my wife, she seemed unimpressed. She told me she didn't really feel comfortable with doing that. She felt it was strange and didn't make sense as Nancy had been my girlfriend. The way I see it is that Nancy was very important to me for a really long time. She was my best friend and losing her was just a terrible thing. I feel as though it would be a great way to remember and honor a dear friend who I miss every day. My wife doesn't share my views and honestly, it's caused a lot of issues. I dropped it and said it was important we both agreed on the name but she's still insisting it's strange and she doesn't understand why I suggested it. I don't know if she feels insecure or maybe the pregnancy is stressing her but she just won't drop it. I honestly don't see the issue whatsoever. Am I the idiot? The top reply. You are the idiot. It's okay to still feel sad, but your wife does not need a daily reminder of your ex-girlfriend. I'll be damned if I grow a baby for nine months just to name it after my husband's ex. You need to show more respect to your wife and ask her to forgive you. The second reply. You are the idiot. 
I don't think there's any way suggesting to honor an ex over all the names in the world isn't going to come off as insulting. It's going to come off like you would definitely be with her if she were still alive vibes. The third reply. You are the idiot. Come on man. Use your brain. But. She is feeling big and ugly at this stage. B. She is already probably insecure about a girl you obviously have put on a pedestal in death, perfectly normal to do C. She doesn't want to be reminded of the love you held for someone else. Fix it by apologizing and never bringing it up again. The third story. I don't know what else to say. I 23 female found horse corn on my fiance's 25 meters phone. Happy Valentine's Day to me. I decided it would be a wonderful idea, it was not, to go on to my fiance's all emails. I find it odd that he has had these accounts for so long but never uses them. Many of them were made after we were together so I'm not gonna lie, I was a little sus of him hiding stuff on there. So I go through search history. One of the accounts, one of the first things at the top was the videos. A search of, horse having s. x, was listed just before those. Before that is a reddit thread of someone asking if it's wrong that they were attracted to horses. The journey began with this simple google search. Why am I attracted to horse pussy? The evidence was an isolated incident from what I can see, back in November 2020. I shouldn't have to say this, but I am disgusted. I feel like I need to take a shower and peel my skin off. We've been together for five years now, and have known each other for a really long time. Never, never would I have guessed that I would see something like that. I hoped to find nothing. When he was a teenager, his family owned a horse. She passed away, and then they moved next to a property that had, you guessed it, horses. Did he abuse these animals at all? This changes everything. I want to know as much as I can about this now, but I don't think I can handle it. We are indigent and out of both of us, he's the one that works. He has a daughter I have been there for since she was a toddler. I can't have kids so I extra bonded with her. I consider her my own and have since the beginning. They have been my everything. I feel my life force ripping away from me. Do I even bring this up? Up until about an hour ago, I knew our relationship had considerable issues, but that we loved each other deeply. I handmade a Valentine's card for him last night. I spent six hours on it. Hell, I've spent five years building everything I have with this man. I just don't know where to go from here. This is not bait or for karma farming. I can send anyone who wants to see a still shot of the searches from a video I took to document. I don't know what else to say other than, please send good vibes my way. Pray for me, whatever you do, do it. I need it now and I'll be needing it for the foreseeable future. The top replies, if your relationship has considerable issues already then why stay in this relationship? Love is not enough. This would be sickening and horrifying enough for me to leave even the best relationship. There's just no coming back from it, I'd never be able to be intimate again. It's wrong to snoop through your partner's stuff but it is what it is. I don't even know if I'd address this specific issue with him or just break up for some other reason, but I would not stay with this guy. The second reply. People have weird kinks. I'm A.S. Ex-worker so truly nothing surprises me at this point. Do you want the truth? Lots of people have some unusual kink, whether it's this or something else. Human beings find the taboo to be very enticing. It's not uncommon that during puberty certain wires can get crossed forming unusual attractions. It's not his fault and he's not some disgusting monster. It's definitely not great that he's been feeding into it as it's something I assume is illegal if not morally wrong. However, this absolutely does not mean that he wants to or had ever engaged in such practices himself. Please don't assume that as most kinks like this are purely fantasy, you have two choices. Pretend you never saw it because you did breach his trust by snooping. Forget it and move on with your lives. Or option two, admit to snooping. Let him know you saw it and it really freaked you out and you'd like to pursue therapy together. The third reply. I might be the odd man out here but I don't judge people based on what they masturbate to as long as no one is harmed in the making of the smut. 
real-world rape and pedo stuff is 100% unforgivable but a little weird curiosity about horse pussy. I dunno, weird but probably not harmful, especially the hentai stuff. As long as you don't think he's out there actively trying to have sex with horses and his corn preferences don't negatively impact your relationship and sex life, I'd probably not worry about it. For example, it I found out my wife was into male horses having sex with women, that wouldn't really change how I feel about her. I think I could at least understand what she might find appealing about the idea. The third story. We've been together for almost four years and no major relationship issues so far. But a few days ago, I saw a post in a certain subreddit that seems very familiar. Some details were changed but I was quite sure that original poster is my boyfriend because the post is accurate as hell. So I visited his profile and saw other posts by this account that made me 100% sure it's him. I saw that he's been following NSFW accounts and very active in posting director Thai comments about porn star slash naked girls. I thought it's just his porn account and was already disgusted, but what I discovered next is the most heartbreaking. There was a comment regarding our relationship, he said he always wanted to date more people because he only had a few romantic relationships before me so he wants to explore. I am not comfortable with the NSFW stuff, but this comment about us is more heartbreaking. I felt he was lying to me when he said that I'm the one and makes promises about marriage and starting a family. I believed him and never thought that he wanted to explore first. Why would he say those things if he's not yet ready to settle down? Because I swear he always says he's sure about Maslashis. I'm very hurt and bothered. So without revealing his secret account, I initiated a heart-to-heart -heart talk and tried to ask him if he has uncertainties about our relationship but he said there's none at all. He's lying and I don't know how to get him to open up. I really wanted to talk about this because I can't move on and pretend to know nothing. I need your help. Any advice on how to handle this situation? Should I confront my boyfriend and reveal that I saw his account in case he denies it? What to do? Any thoughts or advice will be appreciated. Thank you and happy Valentine's Day. The top replies. It's not like you were violating his privacy by going on his phone. You found a Reddit account from your boyfriend. So what? Ask him about the account director Eckley. Ask him about his fantasies and all of his desires in life. Maybe you can satisfy some of them. This could be an opportunity that the two of you become closer. Or you know that he is not ready yet for a relationship with you. Though I would warn him that looking at the dating statistics, he will not have as many adventures as he fantasizes about. Communication is one of the most important elements of a relationship, so you have a chance now for better communication. Make your boundaries clear as well regarding the porn he watches. Best to you. The second reply. Him feeling like he missed out by not being able to date more is natural. It doesn't mean he doesn't think you're the one. He probably wishes he could have done that in the time before he met you. My guess is he doesn't tell you about it because he's expecting the over-the-top reaction that you've had to this. The third reply. Given he had the opportunity to express doubts, a director ECT confrontation does nothing, he'll be forced to deny and deflect. Rather, I'd print out his post slash comments, highlighted, and leave them on your bed with a note. It appears that you've broken the trust I had in you. The only question I have is whether you'll try to earn it back or go explore. Please leave to go stay with friends for a few days. Stepping away for perspective will help. Fourth story. Am I the idiot for buying my kid food he likes when his stepsister is allergic? For her to suffer any effects she has to eat the food in question. I just want to make that clear. She is also 16 and old enough to understand. I have three kids who live with me and my wife. My son, 13, my stepson 12, and my stepdaughter 16. We have only been living together for about 8 months now. With school and everything it was easier for my wife to maintain her own home until Ben got married last summer. My stepdaughter has a few moderate allergies to some foodstuffs. Her mom dealt with it by not having it around. Not even for her son, who is not allergic. Before we got married we talked about everything because we are both set in our ways. 
She mentioned her daughter's allergies and that was it. I still buy that food for my son. We both enjoy it. My stepson has also taken up eating it on a regular basis. Yesterday I had an argument with my wife. Our daughter is upset that we are getting special food that she can't have and eating it where she can see. She wants me to stop buying it. I said no. It's food. It's actually pretty healthy. And I'm not going to deprive three people to placate her. I offered to add some money to the food budget so she could get special treats. She said I was missing the point. She thinks I'm being cruel by excluding our daughter. I don't think I am. Kid is going to have to be around people eating this stuff when she goes to university. Or to a job. She is just used to this food being banned in her home and school. At school because other people have much more severe reactions to it. So anyways. Am I the idiot? The top replies. Not the idiot. You're actually doing your stepdaughter a favor by prepping her for what's going to happen in the real world, where she hasn't been coddled and put in a bubble. I have a severe nut allergy and grew up with my family always having nuts in the house. They were always careful, and always made sure I had a nut-free treat if the big dessert had nuts in it, or something like that. Now I act like a normal human when other people eat foods that I am allergic to. It's not their problem and what they eat is not my business. Like you said, the kid is going to have to deal with this exact same thing eventually. Frankly it's embarrassing for her that she's 16 and hasn't dealt with it yet. The second reply, your wife is raising her daughter to be entitled and spoiled. No one is able to dictate anyone's life choices that aren't actively causing real harm. The food being in the house isn't doing anything to her. Fear of missing out is a part of life for everyone and she needs to learn to deal, not the idiot. But I would say you need to sit your wife down and talk to her about the effects this sort of treatment might have for her daughter later on. When she goes to college is she going to try to tell her friends and roommates they can't have those things because she can't? When she goes on dates will she tell them they can't have anything she can't? If so she's not going to have a lot of friends or a lot of dates. And I guarantee that thinking she has the right to dictate what others can and can't do is going to bleed into other aspects of life beyond her allergy. Make sure your wife understands what this level of entitlement is going to do to her daughter. There are no good outcomes from raising your kids this way.